we don't know what dark energy and dark matter is, although we know it is real and it exists. Um, we now know that 70, roughly 75% of all the energy in the universe is dark energy, and you know, 90% um, of the matter in galaxies, um, where part of our Milky Way is made up of an, an unknown form of matter, unlike us, we call this dark matter, but we don't know what it is. Because the Higgs is responsible for mass, we would like to think that dark matter has mass. So the question is, does the Higgs endow dark matter with mass? And people have played around with these types of theories. They're usually called the Higgs portal. So the Higgs not only interacts with visible matter, but can also interact with dark matter. And so when we look for the Higgs in more detailed experiments, we will not only see the Higgs particle. So how we know about the Higgs is we create the Higgs by colliding two heavy protons, two protons together. And at very high energies, the Higgs gets created um, from this collision because we disturb the, you know, the, the, um, the Higgs field. Um, and so we create, and, the, and then the Higgs field quickly decays into other, cons other things. And so if the Higgs is interacting with dark matter, what we will expect to see is that the Higgs will decay and there'll be some missing energy. And then we can point and say, uh, maybe that's the dark matter. So far, we haven't seen that yet. If the Higgs is speaking to dark matter or is connected to dark matter, it's not the way we think it is. But it doesn't exclude um, theorists from you know, com cooking up other imaginations. And that's some, something um, we here at Dartmouth will be thinking about in, in the next coming months, actually. You see, Albert Einstein, when he came up with his theory of general relativity, which is responsible for understanding the structure of space-time, the expanded universe, the fact that space-time fabric gets warped. Albert Einstein, um, at the time, realized that the universe you know, was not expanded. He saw that the stars were fixed. And so his theory, though, nonetheless predicted that the universe had to be expanded. So he put in a fudge factor called a cosmological constant to halt that expansion. Well, guess what dark energy is? Dark energy today looks very much like this cosmological constant. What is this cosmological constant? Well, it's a fluid that fills the entire universe. It's a field that fills the entire universe. But wait a minute. The Higgs field is something that fills the entire universe. So could it be that the Higgs field is part of the story of dark energy? And the answer is actually maybe. So one of the big questions that we will be looking at here at Dartmouth, um, we have a lot of dark energy research going on. My colleague, um, Marcelo Gleiser and Rob Caldwell, um, we spend a lot of time doing dark physics. And one of the questions we will be asking is, what is the role of the Higgs field with regards to this dark energy or cosmological constant problem? It is the holy grail to solve this cosmological constant problem. We know it exists. We know dark energy exists, and it'll be amazing that the, it were to see conclusively whether or not this major discovery of this Higgs field and the discovery of dark energy speak to each other, and what type of new physics we could learn from this.